Hi, my name is Kimberly, and for this week, I picked um, A Splash of Red, The Life and Art of Horace Pippin. Um, this book was written by Jen Bryant, and it was illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Um, this book won the Orbis Pictus Award in 2014. Um, I think this book would be a great read for 7 to 10 year olds. Um, this is a biography about um, Horace Pippin and him growing up and his passion and love for drawing and painting and creating art. Um, the story starts out when he was born and it tells how um, the chores he had to do like as a young kid and it shows how um, he always took everything that happened to him throughout the day and created art out of it at the end of the day. Um, it also tells about him going to school and how that was for him and always wanting to create art. And it actually um, was a conflict for him for his schoolwork because um, on his spelling tests and stuff like that he would draw around the letters, around the words, and his teachers didn't like that very much. It also talks about um, his father leaving when he was in the eighth grade and him having to um, quit school, drop out of school, and work four or five jobs just to help out his family. Um, it shows how that took a toll on his um, passion for um, creating art. Um, later on, he um, starts painting and stuff again, and then he ends up joining the army, which took a different, impacted his um art in a different way and then it shows how his injury while he was at war um, created a conflict for him because he could no longer paint and do what he was passionate about. Throughout this story, at, towards the end of the story it shows how he uh, worked through that tr that struggle of not being able to paint with his right hand. Um, it shows how he used his left hand to um, steady his right hand and guide his right hand. Um, at the end of the book, it shows how um, a famous artist actually took interest in Horace's paintings and how his paintings ended up all over the United States. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, I think this book would be a great book for students to read because usually biographies are over politicians or um, inventors or things of that kind. But this is about an artist, which I feel like there's not very many biographies over. And I feel like it's a great way for students to see that um, there are other things and to be interested in. And I think it's um, sweet and simple enough for them to understand. For my activity, I think... I would have my students um, either draw or paint um, something that they see every day, how Horace would do in his paintings. He would come back after a day of working um, and he would paint what he saw throughout the day. I think um, I have students do that and I would make and I would have them incorporate the color red, how Horace would in his paintings. I think that would be kind of cool. Well, thank you.